In this lesson, we'll look at how we can use the conform space warp to wrap geometry and shapes around other pieces of geometry. So for this example, we'll just use this uh, bike. And so let's say we want to add a little bit of text or some sort of a logo to maybe the side of this tank. Well, the first thing that we want to do, I'm going to go into the left-hand view and add the text. So I'm going to just go ahead and just use a spline shape of text as an example for this lesson. So you can add whatever sort of text that you want. Go ahead and place it into the viewport. And so I'm going to go ahead and just scale this down to the correct size and kind of move it up. Okay, now our bike's had a little bit of an angle, so I'm going to go ahead and angle this down a little bit and move it up into the uh, position that I want to put it on. You can see that the, the tank has a little bit of a contour to it. So let's say that we want to actually kind of morph that or wrap that piece of text onto that particular piece of geometry. So I'm also going to go ahead and just convert this to an editable spline. And let's take all of the segments. I'm going to add a few divisions here. So I'm going to go ahead and change divide to two. Go ahead and add several divisions. Let's actually add three uh, just so we have plenty of points in there to work with. So now, to actually wrap this around the tank, we want to add a space warp. So I'm going to go ahead and create, and I'm going to go all the way over here to Space Warps, and we want to go to Geometric Deformable, and choose Conform. Now in the left view, I'll go ahead and drag that Conform Space Warp out, and if you look at it in the perspective, you'll see that it has a direction. So it has this box, and then it has an arrow pointing. We want the arrow to be pointing through our text towards our tank. So I'm going to go ahead and just rotate that sort of so that it is kind of perpendicular to the direction that we want to push that in. Okay, maybe a little bit more. So I kind of visualize the force from here pushing through this onto this. Now it's not connected to anything yet, so what we need to do is go into the Modify panel, and under Wrap to Object, we want to pick the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the object, pick the tank, and you can see that that's listed there now. And so now we're still not all the way connected yet. We need to actually bind this text to this space warp. So up here, this little button, bind to space warp. I'll go ahead and activate that. And then drag from the text. And you'll see the icon change as it's over the space warp. And I'll go ahead and bind that. And you can see that the shape of it changes. But it's still right not up, it's not right up against the tank. So we can go ahead and in the space warp itself, change this standoff distance. See, so I can move this in or out. So if you have an object that needs to be uh, kind of the same shape, but it needs to stand off of the object a little bit, you can modify this distance. So I can take this all the way down to about zero, leave it a little bit higher. And so now you can see that that text actually is conforming to the surface of this uh, piece of geometry here. So it's a great way to take existing pieces that you may be able to build flat or uh, splines and things like that and then conform them to existing pieces so that it looks like it's applied onto the side there. Okay, you can also do it for uh, just using selected vertices. Okay, and you can also change your icon size as well. All right, so just keep that in mind. If you need to take some geometry and kind of conform it, warp it onto another piece of geometry, the conform space warp is going to be a great solution for you. So take a look at that. 